Hi, my name is Heather, and today we're going to talk about the best program to use to lay out your children's book. The three programs that I see people using the most to lay out their children's book are Canva, Photoshop, and Procreate. And today we're going to talk about the benefits and downsides of each. First, let's talk about Procreate. So if you create your drawings in Procreate and you're comfortable working in Procreate, then you might want to lay out your children's book in Procreate. But there are some drawbacks to doing that, so you should be aware of those before you start. The first is working with text in Procreate. Although you can add text in Procreate, it isn't the best user experience. It's a little clunky and can be a little bit frustrating at times, at least in my opinion. So I don't prefer to add the text of the book in Procreate. Another downside is that there aren't any guides in Procreate. So this will result in you just needing to create a new layer and draw the guides by hand, which isn't that big of a deal, but it is kind of a pain as opposed to the other programs. Also, you need to take the layers into consideration because the thing about creating the whole PDF in Procreate is that each page needs to be on a separate layer, and then you're going to export that into a PDF. So what that means is that on each layer, you're just gonna need like a flattened version of the page. So you can create each of your pages as separate files in Procreate, adding the text and all that, but then you're gonna need to export it as like a JPEG or something, and then pull all those into a new Procreate file that's gonna have each page on a separate layer. So laying it out this way, you can't really look and see all of your pages at once. Another thing is if you have an older iPad, you may not even be able to handle all those layers on your iPad enough for the whole book. Like you might need 24 pages of your book and you may not even be able to handle 24 layers on your iPad if your iPad's older. So that can cause some issues too. The other thing is since you're creating all the pages separately and then exporting them and then putting them in a new file, if you ever wanna go back and change one of the pages, then you would need to go back to that original file for that page, edit the text or whatever you wanted to edit, and then export it as a JPEG again, go back to the new Procreate file that has all of your pages, delete the current page out and put the new page in. So it's kind of a hassle in that way. So for these reasons, even though Procreate is great for drawing, I don't think it's really the best option for laying out the pages of the book. That said, I do still have tutorials for that because so many people had requested them. But if I could pick which program would be the best one to lay out your children's book, it wouldn't be Procreate. The next option is Photoshop. And Photoshop is wonderful for layout. I love it and I use it for so many of my projects, including my children's book. The great thing about Photoshop is you can make the guide super easily. So in Photoshop, you can do create a new guide layout. And by doing that, you just tell it where you want your guides, like quarter of an inch, and it'll just put quarter inch guides on every edge. So it's really nice. Also, you can have artboards in Photoshop, so you can have all of your pages laid out at once, and you can actually see all of them at the same time, edit them all at the same time, and it's super easy. However, there are definitely some drawbacks to Photoshop. The first one is that there's a huge learning curve in Photoshop. Like if you just open up Photoshop and you've never used it before, you'll probably be totally lost, at least I was. I had to take a college class to learn Photoshop, because it's just so complicated with so many options. So you can't really just open it up and just get to work. You would definitely have to put time into learning Photoshop. So if you're up for that, then go ahead and do it. That's awesome. And it's a great skill to have. But if you don't have a ton of time or a ton of patience, then you may not want to go the Photoshop route. Another drawback to Photoshop is the price. And it's not just that you have to pay for Photoshop because you don't just pay once, you have to pay every month since they have the subscription plan. Right now, as of creating this video, Photoshop is $21 a month. So you might not wanna pay that much for Photoshop. And the last drawback that I wanted to mention is disk space. 
even if all these things sound good, you are still using your computer disk space and a Photoshop file with like 24 pages of a children's book can be huge. Like it can literally be a gigabyte or more. And that takes up a ton of disk space. And I've had multiple people that have laid out their children's book in Photoshop and their disk space is so full that they can't even export it to a PDF. So if you have a good amount of space on your computer, like I have a good amount of space, so I'm okay using Photoshop. But if you have an older computer, then maybe Photoshop isn't right for you if you feel like you probably don't have that much extra space on your computer. Lastly, we have Canva as an option. And overall, I think Canva is probably the best option for the majority of people. So if you find that Procreate or Photoshop is better for you, then definitely use those. But as far as like the majority of people, I think that Canva might be the best option. They do have some drawbacks. Like for example, one drawback is just the guides aren't super easy to make. They do have guides, but you can't specify like exactly quarter of an inch. So you have to try to drag it to 0.25. But you know, that's not really a deal breaker because once you do have them made, then it just applies to all the pages and then you're good to go. So I wouldn't see that as like a huge drawback. Another drawback is that you can't export as CMYK unless you get the paid version, but that's really not a huge deal because I've exported as RGB and had books printed and they look fine. So I really don't think that that is a big deal breaker. And if you do find that your colors look weird, then you can pay to upgrade or do like a trial plan export a CMYK, upload that to KDP and see if you get better results. But I wouldn't worry about it from the beginning. That said, the whole point that Canva is free is amazing. So that's definitely one of the great things about Canva is that it's free. Another great thing about Canva is just that it's so user friendly. So if you've ever used like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, any of those common programs, then you'll probably do perfectly fine in Canva. It is very user friendly, very intuitive, and you can easily just go in with zero experience and create a project. Another great thing about Canva is you're not using your own disk space. So unlike Procreate, where you have to worry about how many layers you can have, or Photoshop, where you might use all your disk space, with Canva, everything's online and it's all on their servers. So once you upload it to their servers, you don't have to worry about that at all. Also in Canva, in a sense, you can look at all of your pages at once. So not really as you're editing them, but when you click on the bottom to see all of your pages so that you can like move them around and stuff, you can get a little preview of your pages there. They are really small little thumbnails though. So I would like it if you could actually view pages side by side, but maybe they'll eventually get that feature added. I don't know. But for now, it's pretty much just one page at a time while you're editing. But at least you do have the option to go in there and see them small. So you can kind of get an idea of the overall flow of your book. And the other great thing about Canva is sharing. So Canva is really cool because you can just share a project with someone and just send them a link and they can go look at your project. You can give them editing access if you want to. If you're working hand in hand like author and illustrator, then you guys can both have editing access. Or if you have someone that's going in and making some fixes in your book, or you know if you need help with your book and you want me to look at it, you can email me and send me the link and I can go in and you know let you know what issues there are. So the sharing aspect can be very, very helpful with Canva. So those are the pros and cons of using those different programs for laying out your children's book. Also, I just wanted to take a quick moment to mention my creativity club that I have started on Facebook, just to kind of have a place where we can share our projects and motivate each other and inspire each other and to just make friendships with creative people and have creative discussions. So I hope that you'll join us. It's called Heather's Creativity Club, and I will link to it in the description. If you have any questions, as always, you can let me know in the comments, or you can email me at heather at heathercash.com.
And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.